Well, let's uh, talk about some of that confusion right now then. So you, you uh, as our, again, as our understanding, it's the 7th. Um, yes. That uh, you, you gave a press conference. Uh, Mr. Barber was there, Ms. Belton was there, Ms. Leach was there, and some yes. of the other organizers. Yes. You know what I'm referring to? I do. And um, how did that press conference come, come about? I do not remember the person who asked me or the group of people who asked me to, uh, to speak. Um, but I had, I believe just previous to that, we, we, it was the night after the, or the night of the Coventry raid that, um, we did a live stream as a, as a larger group and it seemed to go okay with, uh, I guess my presence on a, on a video. So I was asked the next day to deliver a, a, a message on a live stream. And uh, I don't remember who asked me to do it. I just know that I was asked to do it and that I would be accompanied by uh, several members of, well, I think the entire board, as well as two doctors uh, who were in attendance in that video. So if we could pull up COM 50884, and as it's coming up, Mr. Morazzo, this is, you can confirm if it is the case, but we understand that this is the, the press conference. And yes, then this is it. This is it, okay. Different sources uh, that if you could pause it, please, and go to the 725 mark. And then play from 725 to about 821. At home until the job is done. Okay, I am not calling for violence. I'm not expecting you to get into your vehicle, drive here and, and create uh, problems, create crimes. Okay, that's not what we're saying. Strength in numbers. We got sent here to send a message. The message isn't getting through. He's not getting it. And I apologize if I'm bashing the guy, but honestly, from my assessment, he's got a, a, a 22 caliber mind in a 357 world. Okay, let's get at a table for God's sakes. Enough hiding. I'm willing, I'm willing to sit at a table with the Conservatives and the NDP and the Bloc as a coalition. I'll sit with the Governor General. You put me at somebody, put us at the table with somebody that actually cares about Canada. Okay. Um, one quick question, and then I'm going to ask you about the, the statement that caused confusion. When you made a reference to a 22 caliber mine in a 357 world, uh, this has been something that's been a, a, a reported on. Were you referencing Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau? I was. Um, in the video, you say, I'm willing to sit at a table with... Can I, can I just continue to answer? Because I've been oh, vilified sorry, in the media for that one. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. Please go ahead. It's a joke. It, I, I literally meant to comment on the man's intelligence. It, it was a joke. Sorry. No, under, understood. Sorry. I, yeah. You can take the video down. Um, Thank you. Then you said, I'm willing to sit at a table with the Conservatives and the NDP and the Bloc as a coalition. I'll sit with the Governor General put us at the table with somebody that actually cares about Canada. Yes. What did you mean when you said that? In no way did I ever mean or intend for us to be part of the government. I wanted them to come and sit literally at a table and start figuring out a way to be an effective opposition to the Liberal Party of Canada because we weren't seeing any opposition at all with the official opposition of Canada. You know, if the Conservative Party had been effective as being an opposition, we may not be in this room today. But instead, they just didn't oppose anything that was happening to Canadians as to why we were there. And when we got there, there was no attempt at any level of government, um, municipal, provincial, federal government to even talk to us, to get in a room with us. And you've heard the testimony here. Nobody ever wanted to even have a conversation with us. So I want to say that I was um, I was quite sick uh, throughout my time during the convoy. And, uh, you know, I, I was exhausted. I was dehydrated. I, you know, lots of stuff. And in, in that particular moment of that video, I did misspeak. It wasn't very clear what I was getting at. Two days later, I tried to clarify that, or three days later, but... What we wanted was for the government, anybody, we were desperate. It was a, it was a 
basically a cry for for help to come in and sit down and do this democratically. And that is a mechanism of government, because as we've seen since then, or even during the convoy, the NDP and the Liberals were forming a coalition that the public had not yet known about. And so, you know, forming a coalition seemed to be something like we were trying to nudge them, motivate them in any way we could just to talk to us. And to this day, they've never spoken to us, ever. Some media outlets reported on those comments to suggest that you were saying that the protesters wanted to form government, in which yeah. they would be in a coalition with mm -hmm. the opposition parties, but the protesters themselves would form part of the government. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? That is, and that's, that is my fault, that the way I, I phrased that in the video, um, that is not what my intention was, but the way I phrased it, I can understand that being confusing, but it's not what I intended. We wanted no part of being the government. We wanted the government to do the governing, but to listen to us. I understand that uh, you spoke again on February 10th and attempted to clarify your yes, statements. Sir. I understand that, but did you take any steps to uh, clarify what you meant with the media outlets who were reporting um, that the protesters wanted to form a coalition government? No, I was not in charge of direct um, contact. I had no direct contact with the media. And as far as I was concerned, uh, my belief was if they actually started to do their job and report fairly, we would reward them with contact or I would or whatever, not necessarily me. But if they continued down the path of constantly vilifying and lying about us, uh, I didn't see the point really of talking to them at all. Uh, we were effective, highly effective at getting out everything we wanted to get out to the public through alternative and social media. So you didn't make any efforts to go to the no, reporters sir. who uh, who had re reported no. a different interpretation and say, that's wrong, can you please fix it? No. And so you don't know whether or not they would have issued a correction or uh, issued a, maybe not a correction, a follow-up story, you just don't know. I don't know. And they never reached out to talk to me from my knowledge either. Yeah. Um,